Hello, my name's Joe, and what we're going to be looking at today in our little Houdini adventure is how to create a simple metal ladder or tube ladder. Um, if you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So, what we're going to be looking at initially is um, uh, probably over the next few videos is creating different types of ladders. We're going to start with a simple tube on here. We're probably going to try and add some of this sort of semi, this weld here or something like that. Um, it's got obviously holes in each of the steps and um, it's just a very simple ladder, but it just gives us an idea of how we can create steps, um, how we can create the, the, the height and things like that. And then what we'll do is we'll look at probably another type of ladder where it's uh, got like grooves in each of the steps with a little bit more detail and things like that. So what we'll do is we'll go to Houdini and we'll right click, type in Geo for Geometry, give it a name, Ladder, open that up, right click and we'll type in Line and we're going to use one line for our height, so give this a name, Height, and then what we're going to do is we're going to type in it, uh, right click again and type in Line and we're going to name this the Width. Now the reason I'm putting a Width in is that uh, some some people like painters, plasterers have wider ladders, so it just gives us that option if we ever need it. And um, what this is going to do is this is going to control the height of our ladder. Um, so now what we want to do is just turn on the points here, so click that, and then the point numbers. So as you can see here now I've got a 1 and a 0. So now what we want to do is add the um, uh, this part here the circle part of the main post, the uh, main frame, sorry. And what we do, we do is we'll right click, type in a tube, and that's gonna bring this up. And then what we're gonna do is set this to a mesh. And um, yeah, we'll set that to a mesh. And uh, we'll leave those as they are. And what we're then gonna do is drag off of this and type transform. And we're gonna resize this. So we'll try point one first. Um, where's our line? Just show that. So we want it obviously quite a bit narrower. Um, so try 0.05, 0.05. Um, what's that? Is that all right? No. Try, we just too thin. 0.2, it's obviously a bit faffy this. Um, point, try 0.4. Yeah, point four will do, and then what we want to do is go back and click on our tube, and in the uh, this box here we'll type point five. This centers it on the bottom of the grid. So this when now when this scales, it's always going to go up. And then what we want to do is basically get the height here, and click on the height, right click on length, do copy parameter parameter. Sorry, go back to our transform in the scale, select the one and delete it, and then right click. I paste relative references. So as you can see here, this changes. Um, uh, we switch this back here by clicking scale, but you notice this field is now green. The reason being is that has now got a reference to our height. So what will happen now is when we, in theory, drag this length, we control the height. And so what you may ask is why, why don't we just control the height from here? The reason being is that I want to, in a minute, add some more points to this line for our steps. So what's going to happen is as we increase this line, it's going to add more points um, evenly spaced out for each step. Um, so we obviously want this to all work um, in tandem. So as we're resizing this, it's adding more steps and things like that. So now what we want to do is go to our post and we want to drag off of here and go uh, ooh, poly or just type extrude, um, poly extrude. So now what we want to do is just go off of the distance here, uh, 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 and we, oh yeah, we just want to make sure our poly extrude is active. So you can see here we've got a very thick pole, too thick. So what we want to do is just bring this right back down to say 0.2, 0.1, yep, yeah, so we've got enough cylinder there. And then what we could perhaps do is, uh, we could bevel the edges here so they look a little bit more, um, uh, like a, a little bit uh, more natural. Um, so what we can do is, because obviously a ladder wouldn't have sharp edges, so what we can do is go on here, go bevel, and uh, select Bob poly bevel, and I think what that's gonna do is, that's gonna do exactly what we want it to do. So give it a little bit of that. Um, what we wanna do is go back to our poly extrude here, and just scroll down, 
and turn on output back face, output back here. So that's gonna do the inside there. So now what we've got here is if we just turn off our numbers for the minute, we've got a little bit of um, an extrude there. So prior to that, it was sharp. And now we've got a nice smooth poly bevel here. What we can do is because we don't want to be smoothing these edges here, what we're gonna do is we are going to just, in, in here, we're going to uh, click the little mouse icon, go to our edges here, and we are going to just select poly extrude, hold uh, alt and now shift and double click. So right, start again, so hold shift, double click, and then hold shift, double click. And then what we wanna do is go to our bottom here and the same here. So shift, double click, shift, double click. So now what we should have is all of our selected there. So now what we do is hit tab, type in group, and what's going to happen here is, in theory, all of our edges are grouped. So you can see here that is grouped. So now what we're going to just do is name this uh, top, bottom, group, top, bottom. And then we're also going to name this one GRP, top, bottom. So now what's going to happen is in our poly bevel, it's still doing um, exactly the same here. So what we can now do is we can go to the poly bevel, click on that, drop down here, type select group bottom, and you can see now it's only affecting those there, whereas prior before it's affecting everything. So now what we want to do is we want to, so we've got our, our uh, main pole here. So we want to look at now um, with this adding our steps in. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, Right, we're gonna create a tube. So right click tube. And what we're gonna do is just, uh, if we press the icon just next to the blue icon here on the poly bevel, bevel and that's gonna allow us to see this when we switch over here. And on this one, click the blue icon. So now we get an idea for size. So on this tube here, we're gonna name this uh, step and we're gonna name this main. And what we want to do is we want to basically set this to a polygon mesh again. Uh, we don't need any end caps because it's going to be intersecting with the ladder. And what we want to then do is go to drag off a transform. And we're going to, uh, do, 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 what are we gonna do? We're gonna rotate this. Uh, uh, um, <coughs> and then we're gonna resize it right down. So our other ladder was uh, 0 0.0 four I believe so if we try two five in each of those how does that look in there that's going to perhaps just a little bit bigger try three five so it looks like it could actually hold a person and um, then what we want to do is we want to push this over so that the sizing is always going that way so what we'll do is we'll go back to our step and I believe it's that one nope it's not that one it's this one no, it's not that one either. Which one is it? What's it doing? Oh yeah, there we go. So there we go. And now obviously we want to resize this here. So what we'll do is we now want to add this to our, our width. So we'll click on width, right click on length, uh, copy parameter, go to transform, and paste in our scale that's one value of one. So this is the length. So now, just to test that, when we go to width, there we go. Um, so one, what we'll also do with this width here so that it's all um, following correctly is that we'll just rotate this in the correct direction. There we go. So now when we move this, it all moves in the same direction. So now what we want to do is we want to, um, just for testing, we want to go to our height here and we're going to drag off of this and go resample. And we're just going to select that. So as you can see here, what it's done is it's adding loads of points here. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of the top and the bottom point because on a ladder you don't have a step generally all the way at the bottom. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to click, uh, uh, we're going to drag off of the resample and type in group and we're going to select group by range. And what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to basically um, select all points apart from the top and the bottom. So what we'll do is we we'll go to group type, make sure it's selected to points, and on start, 
we'll just drag it up one. So you can see here now it's gone blue. And on end, we're going to drag that up one, and that's gone blue. So what this is, um, we can do also invert that so that now the only the top and the bottom ones are selected. So now what we want to do is drag uh, off of that. So we'll give it a name first. So group top bottom points. And then we'll put that also in here, group. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. And then we'll drag off this and go uh, blast. And then what we want to do is this is going to just delete those points is we'll select the blast from our drop down here. So our group, sorry. And we select the one we've created top bottom points. So what's happened there is you can see how we've got no bottom point and we've got no top point. So this will be apparent when we all link it together in a second. So what we're going to do then is we are going to drag off of, uh, well, we're going to right click in here and go copy to points. And then we want to basically put our target points in. So what we're going to do for tidiness sake is just move these over here so we're not getting all wires tangling everywhere. And we're going to plug that into there. So what happens there, as you can see here, we've got our steps going up. So now if we add our pole, so if we uh, right click, go merge, drag, ooh, drag off the pin and drag them together. You can see here, we've got a very, very tight ladder frame. And, um, so what we're going to do here is we are going to go to our, um, where is it, our height here, and we want to go to the resample. Now what happens here is, as you can see currently, these are all very, very tightly grouped together. So if we adjust the length here, you can see here that we're getting a more um, uh, evenly spaced ladder. So what we probably initially want to do is if we add our second part of the ladder in, and so what we'll do is we'll drag our width over here. And what we want to do is go copy to points. And we want to plug that into there, that into there, disconnect our merge, reconnect our merge. Just for tidiness sake, I'll do that. So now we've got our ladder frame and we've got our ladder steps. And so what we say we want to perhaps make the step a bit wider. We'll come back to that in a sec, the other part. So say 0.4. And point four. So now that looks like it can actually, someone could stand on it and perhaps make, now we can control the width here. So we can go like point 0.5. So we're getting um, point 0.7, so it looks natural. Then we're gonna control the height. So we're just gonna uh, say, uh, put this at 10. So now we've got a ladder here. So now you can gauge, um, it's probably the world's tallest ladder. Um, we can now gauge the, uh, just bring this down a bit more. The height here, it does the step the spacing look right? So we can go to our resample here and go, well, it needs more steps. In fact, I think it needs less steps. So for me, that looks all right. That looks like, um, obviously, if you have a character here, you can get a, 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 a space of reference. But what you can do is, like, when you export these out as HDAs and things like that, you can actually ha expose these so that the, the the user can adjust themselves as they need it. Um, so obviously, you can add all that, but that's something we'll look at later. Um, so that's that. So we've got our spacing right. Um, so what we'll be looking at in the next video is how to add a little bit of weld here and um, a cut in there to just add it um, so it looks a little bit more um, realistic. And then we'll look at texturing, uh, doing a simple, very simple metal texture for this. So uh, yeah, hopefully this has uh, been a little bit interesting and uh, see you in the next video.